In today's video, I want to give you a concept or interesting route that I found in the Atlanta Falcons offensive playbook that's going to help you beat man-to-man -man coverage in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and then if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, what my YouTube channel does is post four videos a day on YouTube that is going to help you improve or take your game to the next level in Madden NFL 21. And um, if you are interested in being a part of the channel, maybe you want to get better at the game, what you can do is just go ahead at the bottom of this screen and click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. What that's going to do is that's going to help you um, be notified whenever we release a new tip or new strategy. And I believe this route combination or route concept today that we're going to be talking about is going to really help you especially if you like to run the Atlanta Falcons offensive playbook especially if you want to look for similar plays in your playbook it's from one of my favorite formations in the entire game and that is the Falcon trips or just the gun trips in general I really enjoy the trips this year um, and so the play that we're gonna be talking about is we're gonna be talking about the play deep corner now it's we're gonna flip this play so that we're not running that route to Michael Thomas aside we're running the route to a different receiver um, but the route on the right side of the screen is going to absolutely torch man to man. It's going to torch the meta man to man coverage as well because what a lot of people like to do this year is they basically like to put those purple zones out there. They like to shake coverage down or shake coverage outside and shake coverage over top. And what you're going to see here with this uh, specific play, you've got two zigs here, which we're going to come back to those in just a moment. But what you'll see here is this route is going to kill man to the inside. It's a lot deeper of a route than you originally see on the screen. You're going to see this route is literally going to go um, about a, a really good chunk of yards down the field. You're going to see he's going to get about 15 to 20 yards in. What I like about how deep this route is is against a lot of defenses that you're going to face. Let's say they run like cover three. You're going to see this is going to get deep, deep, deep in the zones. So it's going to fall kind of in the in the in the deeper area of this zone here, and if you have some type of route that is going to pull the zones down, it's going to make it that much better. So what I like to do is I like to take the running back and put him on a wheel route uh, on this play, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, Smith here and I'm going to motion snap him on a slant route. Uh, as you see here, just kind of come underneath it. And this is going to make this absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage because the slant route is your first read against man. Your second read against man is that deep, deep in route. Uh, and what you'll see with this is this, this running back route actually um, does a really good job. He'll do a really good job of pulling zones, but you're going to be able to consistently dot man-to-man -man up for pretty solid and significant gains. Now, once they're going to do that is they're going to start going to zone. Well, what you've got is you've got a really, really nice little corner route on the right side of the field. This, this little smash concept on the left side is going to be against uh, cover two, but this little slant route is going to hold those yellow zones back, and you're going to be able to throw that over the top of most yellow zones in the entire game. Because, again, this in route goes about uh, 20 yards down the field, and so you'll see uh, against like even like cover two, you're going to be able to consistently pop this in route in uh, right there. Click on. You see it's kind of a tender throw, but you typically will. I think I got my. I think I might have those those uh, those uh, zones set to to go back like 20 yards. But what you'll see here is if maybe you put him on a hitch, right? You can do that as well. Uh, the hitch is going to sit against the zone. And so they, he's going to pull the zones down, and you're going to have that nice deep in, in route on the backside. So this play right here really does have a lot of uh, options for you. Now, if you're running your trip sets to the wide side of the field, like you should be running them to the wide side of the field, what you're going to find is this route to Jared Cook is similar to the corner strike route that we have uh, from the shotgun bunch. Uh, against cover two. So we're going to show you this against cover two. And if they're running a lot of cover two on you, what you're going to see is this corner route to the left side is typically going to destroy uh, most cover two zones in the entire game. Uh, one of the things that you can do, um, you'll see here, this is cover two, snap of the ball. And again, since he's in time one, four, six, it's the cover two sink blitz is just absolutely unreal. So uh, especially in practice mode, so we're just going to try to clear him out here for you just a second. 
But what you'll see is this corner route on the left side, if you have time in the pocket, it's going to get him out passing that hard to the left, click on, and you see that you're going to get that nice user catch on the left side against cover two uh, zone. Now, again, uh, again, you know, you can do this from a lot of different coverages, but I personally, or a lot of different uh, route combinations, but if you smart route it, you see how it's a, like, a, like a straight slant out dart. It's going to get over that, uh, that, that, uh, that, uh, hard flat you can you can do that as well if you want to what I personally like to do the most with this is I just like to leave it stock and you'll find a lot of um, a lot of success with this route combination right here even if you take Michael Thomas and putting him on a uh, curl route uh, or a simple little fade stop route. You see how deep that uh, corner route is going to go? So you're stepping up, up, up in the pocket. You're going to be able to get that smash concept over the top. So a lot of things you can do on the backside. The main thing I wanted to show you today is how this route on the right absolutely torches man-to-man. -to -man. You can actually throw it right in here as well uh, if they're in bail technique coverage. So if they're, if they're shading, if they're doing different types of shading with their corners, like, for example, maybe they're doing uh, shade coverage outside and then shade coverage over top. That's going to give uh, Sanders a free release. And so when he cuts to the inside, you can throw an inside pass lead. And typically you can click on and make a user catch if you want to. Uh, I normally don't throw that. I normally just wait for him to cut to the inside just because it's going to make it uh, that much better. One other thing you can do is you can smart route this route as well. Make it go a little bit deeper, um, which I like to do that a lot. But you know, this route, for the most part, again, guys, if you really want to get something uh, that's really, really consistent against man-to-man -man coverage, this thing's going to beat it to the inside pretty much all season long. It doesn't matter how good the corner is. It doesn't matter how good the receiver is. It's a concept that's going to kill man-to-man -man because it's got some really, really good cuts within that route. And then you can kind of scheme around that to be able to beat zone. Um, and then what's also really cool, I think, is the fact that you bring Smith across the formation into like a little slant route. And what you'll see is against man-to-man -man coverage, he is going to get uh, he's going to absolutely torch man to man so anyways guys that is a quick concept that you can use quick money play that you can add to your playbook especially if you're running Atlanta and just wanted to see, wanted to have you guys put that on your radar. Now, again, if you really want to share, maybe you want to share your schemes. Maybe you want to get some lab partners. Maybe you want to um, do some more in the community. I want to encourage you to consider joining our Discord. Our Discord is a community of everyone that follows my channel. They also follow other channels as well. And they come together in this Discord and basically share ideas, uh, bounce tips and tr tricks off each other. Some people will throw a question out there, and then the whole community is going to come around side them alongside them and be able to answer it so for example maybe you'd be asking how do i stop the the quick pitch out of bunch well then you you put that in the discord and like five of the people are going to come at you and they're going to give you well here's how i do it or here's how i do it or, here's how i do it it gets that conversation going we also have an entire channel devoted to helping you get better lab partners in playstation 4 and on xbox one uh, within that discord as well so if you're looking for some better players to play with because again you're the average of the five people that you associate with most and so that discord is really going to help you get better in madden nfl 21 so i would encourage you to go ahead and join that uh, but guys we will see you later on today tonight uh, for another YouTube video. So be sure to stay subscribed and stay posted for every con piece of content we have coming. We have videos coming out pretty much every couple of hours on our YouTube channel. So you want to stay updated uh, for that.